You know, I think everybody's excited. I think everybody's ready to get that bad taste out of their mouth. You know, last year was unacceptable for Midway, and, and we've got to do a great job preparing each and every day so that we don't have to go through that again. From 2013 to 2018, the Midway Panthers lost a grand total of zero district games. Zilch, zip, nada. In 2019, they finally lost, but still managed to win their seventh straight district title. 2020, not up to that same standard. The Panthers moving to the hardest district in Texas high school football and winning just two games. After the season, head coach Jeff Hume went back to Mansfield, opening the door for former Connolly head coach and Midway assistant Shane Anderson to take over in the red, white, and blue. After that unacceptable season, they're hungry to bounce back. Our goals are not going to change. We want to be a playoff football team. We want to win a district championship, practice on Thanksgiving Day, and play in December. And you know, each and every day we're going to come to work to try to make that possible. Anderson built a legacy at Connolly based on toughness, and he hopes at least some of that will translate onto the field at Midway. He's joined by former Robinson head coach Tommy Allison, our offensive coordinator, and together this whole coaching staff believes they can turn things around and bring Midway back among the state's elite. These guys are tough, but they, they, they're putting in the time and they're putting in, you know, they're investing in us, and I appreciate what they what they brought to us. We're going to get the ball in the hands of our playmakers, and I feel like that's the best way. We're going to move it down the field, get the ball out to guys in space where they can make a play. The Panthers still fighting in that district of death with DeSoto, Duncanville, and Cedar Hill. All those teams ranked in the top 15, but the Panthers are projected to sneak into the playoffs at that fourth spot. They open the air on the road against Round Rock.